Hey guys, so you might have guessed based on the fact that we're no longer in my sewing room hanging out and chatting, we're back in my art room, which means I'm back in school. Super excited. Just a little bit wishing I was still back in my sewing room. But that's not why we're here. Today, I want to talk to you about back to school, beginning of the school year, first thing, art projects, because they're some of my favorite things to do and they can be super impactful. They're a great way to shine a light on your program and emphasize to your faculty, staff, and students the importance of the arts. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about your beginning of the school year project that everybody, K through four for me, does in your art room that can be hung at the start of the year. So for example, one thing I love to start my school year with are themes. In the past, I've done a jungle theme. I've done themes based on cultures, countries, and artists. And what that theme looks like in my room is, is we are all learning K through four about a particular artist, culture, or art movement. And we're all creating a work of art based on that culture. So for example, last year, our theme was jungle theme at the start of the year. We all learned about Henry Rousseau and we all worked on a piece that was based around a tiger. It was also perfect because we are the Johnson Tigers. All of those tiger themed works of art were then hung at the beginning of the school year which was great because it was a great impactful piece for open house night. So one way you could kick off the start of your school year would be themes. For me this year, my theme is kindness, and I'll be sure to share with you what big impactful project we're doing for that. Another thing you could use would be a collaborative piece. So instead of every grade level doing a different tiger project, I could have had them do one big project together. And in the past, for me, what that has looked like is the heart um, the Johnson Elementary, which is my school, has heart where every student made a heart piece. You could also do that with, um, gosh, just about anything. I've done it with an Andy Warhol soup can mural, a Starry Night mural. Those pieces can then all be combined with every child in the school to make one overall big and impactful piece. So that a collaboration piece could be combined with themes, which would be great as well. And lastly, one thing that I think is great at the start of the year are self-portraits. Imagine, the whole school covered in wall-to-wall -wall selfies. You could do this theme with the kids using the same medium, so that way it cuts down on supplies for you, or you could have each grade level explore a different medium and have a wide variety of selfies throughout the school. I know a lot of you have done the rainbow selfie, which is great, where every child creates a self-portrait using monochromatic colors, either red, orange, yellow, blue, green, or violet. I have done one in the past where we use those selfies to make a giant map. In all these different projects that I keep mentioning having done in the past, I'll make sure to link in the blog post. So, when you're planning out the beginning of your school year, which I know can be very overwhelming, you might want to consider focusing on a theme, how that theme could maybe be collaborative throughout all of your grade levels, or doing something like a self-portrait. This will also cut down on the amount of planning and the amount of prep you have to do for supplies, which I find to be very stress-free at the start of the school year. So, thanks guys. Love to hear about any themes you do at the start of the year or collaborative projects or self-portrait projects. Self -portrait projects you guys do as well. Talk to you soon.